Hey guys, so here we are. Uh, we have a race. The inner race of a bearing, this bearing here, is stuck on this shaft. Okay, this is a vacuum pump. Uh, usually you're dealing with something like this with a wheel bearing, okay? And you, you have trouble pulling it off with a regular puller because you can't get behind here with the jaws. So what did we do? We bought, well, not only, th this, this won't work, right? Because you got... There's, there's not enough room here for it to get under. So we ended up buying one of these. Well, what happened to one of these? Okay. You put this on here on the back side. And what do you get when you tighten it up? The bolt snaps right off because this starts bending and flexing. So <clears throat> long story short is this is frozen on there. We have heated it up with a torch until it's almost glowing red hot. Hammered it. Done everything we can. It won't come off. So now what we're going to do, we took the Dremel, we heated this up, set this torch right here, heated it up. Okay, this whole thing is steel. Now if you have a rubber O-ring or some kind of a seal, obviously you're going to be melting that and then have to replace it. Uh, this whole thing is solid steel, so it's not going to hurt to heat it up. You heat it up, it, it helps cut through a little bit easier. So you can see the cut that we've made so far. We're going to keep going. This is a steel sleeve behind. That's not what's the problem. It's getting this race off of here. So let's keep cutting. So we filed it down some more, okay, as far as I can go without going too deep in. And then I took a sludge hammer right here, hammer this in here. Boom, there you go. Now this thing was so completely frozen, uh, it just wouldn't even budge, okay? But with a combination of heating it up, cutting almost all the way through, taking a sledgehammer, bam, these don't flex, so they break very easy. So with the wedging that in there and breaking the last millimeter or whatever it was left, it was just enough to spread it apart. You can see I've only made a couple little marks on there. I'm going to sand those down. We'll be ready to go. And that's how you get off a stubborn bearing race that will not come off regardless of what type of puller you use, how much you hammer on it, how much you heat it up, no matter what you do, okay? This is real easy. And this is a, this is a big, this is a very big bearing, okay? This is the bearing from the other side. So the one that was actually on this side is the same size bearing. All the ball bearings were all ground down and it was all messed up, okay? But this is very big. This is larger than a typical wheel bearing. And it only took me about 10 minutes of grinding to cut through this race. And we're good to go.